In this video, I'm going to show you how I mounted that corner TV in my master bedroom. Of course, I had to rebuild that wall when I did the master bath remodel, and I ran the cable and the electrical ahead of time, knowing I wanted to put the TV here. What I'm going to be using here is a, an articulating wall mount. And I've used this one before. All you need is a screw gun. And I'm using a, an impact driver with my socket wrenches. But you could just use a traditional socket wrench. And of course, a stud finder to make sure that I put it into the wood. Now the first step is obviously locating the stud and I find the middle of the stud and I make a mark. Now this mount is kind of universal. It supports a lot of different TVs. It comes with a lot of different kinds of screws and you know it really works well. Like I said I've used it twice and it's not expensive at all. I get it on Amazon and I'll put a link to it in the video description below. Now you don't have to use an articulating wall mount if you're putting it on a flat wall, but you can because it has the benefit of being able to pull the TV away from the wall so you can get at the connections behind it. So you could use these everywhere in the house. I'm using it specifically for this corner installation because I couldn't put a traditional mount on the wall here. It comes with a ton of different types of screws, all different lengths, as well as different sizes. And um, you just find the right ones for your TV. Now, I don't want to use the uh, cordless drill to screw these in. I always do this by hand, because you don't want to over tighten them in the back of the TV. TVs these days aren't very heavy anyway, so they don't really require a whole lot to keep them up. Now the mount comes with bolts that will be bolted into the wood and I found the right size drill bit to uh, drill a pilot hole just to make it easier for me to put it in. The kit also comes with this level which is really convenient in case you don't have one. So all I'm doing here is marking the bottom hole and that second hole at the top. So a total of three bolts will hold it to the wall and when I drill the two additional pilot holes, I realized that I missed the stud a little bit. So I moved the holes over about a half an inch. No big deal. Those holes will be covered. Now this is where the impact driver comes in really handy. But like I said, if you don't have one, you can just use a regular socket wrench. And I'm just putting the screws in loosely here initially, and then I'll plumb it up before I tighten them home. Now using the level once again, I get it perfectly straight, and then tighten the bolts the rest of the way. Next I install the plastic end caps that just cover up the bolts, make it look nicer. And then I lift the TV onto the mount, and there's two retaining screws, one on either side, that make sure it, it won't bump off or fall off or anything like that in case of an earthquake, which we don't get very often in New Jersey, but you never know. And everything is adjustable on this mount as well, both the tilt of the TV in both directions, you know, tilting towards you as well as left to right. The only thing you really can't change is the height. So you have to think about that before you mount it to the wall. It doesn't adjust up and down, so you have to decide where you want the mount in relation to where you think the TV is going to look best. Now this is not a smart TV, so I have two devices that I'm plugging into it here. One will be the cable box and the other is a Chromecast. success and of course it comes right on to my favorite channel which is HGTV now you're looking at that cable box and going all right how are you gonna handle that 
I just attached it to the arm of the mount, the TV mount, with zip ties. And that's it. And just coiled up all the cords behind it. And you can't see it at all. And that's the finished product. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website HandyDad.TV for more great ideas and information.